Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, I played through the bonus levels up in the bar. They were okay. Didn't quite stand up to the levels of the main game, but not too bad for the most part. Anyway, now it is time to go over to these bonus sections. As a reminder, I needed to acquire points from the main game's levels in order to unlock these, and uh, I kind of failed at that whenever I was doing this live, so I had to replay the levels off camera in order to get them. Thankfully, that wasn't terribly difficult. I basically went to World 1 and played through it, managed to get through it both times without taking a single hit. You'll, you'll have to take my word for it. Anyway, let's see what we can get out of these points here. Give out prizes depending on how many points you have. Give me the good stuff. Say, you have at least four points. I can give you Roseanne's Rushdown. This is a fun minigame. If you do well enough, you can earn points. Well, apparently I only need to grind to four points. And then the rest I could do with this. Oh well, maybe I'll suck at this anyway. Hey, you have eight or more points. Here's your ticket to Gobbly Golf. It's a fun little platforming mini game. Try it along or with it, or try it alone or with a friend. A platforming mini game? Anything else? Looks like you've got both the extras. I hope you have a wild time with them. That reminds me. Yes, this is in fact a short game, a lot shorter than Josh's adventure. Apparently though, there was a lot more of a time limit to create this game as it was being created for a contest. Um, I don't know if I won that contest or not, so don't ask me. Hello, I am a self-aware arcade machine. Care to play Roseanne's Rushdown? How do I play? In this game, your objective is to stand on the colored tiles. This is what it looks like. When you step on one, you get one Kopec. But don't touch the enemies chasing you, otherwise it's game over. When you, when you collect 50 Kopecs, you get one point. That's all. It's a pretty straightforward game. So, are you ready to play? Yeah, let's play. Excellent. Get angry! Select stage! Oh, there's... Two stages. Okay, cool. I thought there was only going to be the one, but... Alright. We'll go to the ocean at dawn. Yeah. Don't let those mermaids trap you, and go earn some points. That looked like a very painful way to teleport. Let's do it. Alright, well, I'm just going to go ahead and let you all come up towards me for a moment so I can kind of figure out where to go from here. Well, offhand I say I kind of screwed up with that idea. No, oh, you got hit. Too bad. Can I try it again? Okay, let's do it for real. Okay, where where is this? 36? Are we counting down or up? 35. Alright. 34. So we don't have to traverse from one to another. It is good enough just to step on the same one repeatedly. However, I have a feeling that the game won't necessarily let me do that because eventually these mermaids are going to catch up. Alright, there's one point. I gotta say this is an interesting idea for a minigame. Uh-oh. Uh! 
Darn it! Oh, you got hit. Too bad. Care to try it again? Okay, one more time. Let's see if I can get two points out of this. Uh, I thought I had some good momentum going, too. Those flames at the corners certainly make things difficult. Because I can't just run laps around them. Alright, there's one point. Let's try to get another one. Oop. Make sure I don't accidentally go places that I would regret. This seems to be the way to do it. Just travel back and forth while they're all coming after you and then move on once they're about to catch up. There's two points. It's too bad that this being RPG Maker 1, you can't make these characters go any faster. There's three points. Yeah, I could have definitely just did this instead of grinding all the way to the required points for the other minigame. But I wasn't entirely aware that I'd be getting points from this. Well, if I can keep this up, I can potentially get unlimited points. Oh, however, however, oh, I got blocked in. Spoke too soon. That was not a bad attempt, though. So how many points am I at now? 16, I would went to that minigame with 11. I got one point during that one attempt, and that was my other attempt, so I'd say that attempt went pretty well. Four points. Out of curiosity. Yep, it got rid of the little thing, the counter for how many steps I've been taking. Alright, well, with that out of the way, that just leaves... Gobbly Golf. Let me say first. Since I have actually accomplished a thing... And if Gobbly Golf is all that is left, this is going to be a pretty short stream, probably. And I'm not prepared to move on to another game this stream. Oh. We gotta move on to a second memory card to access this stuff. Interesting. So this one memory card... Or, or, so this one mini game is gonna be located on these three blocks. A special thank you to Duel for inspiring this game. I assume that this is the way back? No, it's another save point. Alright. I doubt that I have to worry too much about... ...having to reload my save, but I'll save anyway. Hi there! Hi there! Ready for a three-hole round of Gobbly Golf? How do I play? It's pretty simple. Press X next to the Gobbly to smack him good. Unlike real golf, you lose points from getting hit by baddies. You start at plus zero, or par. Get hit, and you're at plus one, and so on. When you hit plus three on a hole, you give up and move to the next hole. Whoever has the lowest score after three holes is the winner. 
can play this game either alone or with a friend. Alright, let's tee off. Great! So, do you want to play by yourself or with a friend? Alright, so this is interesting. This apparently is multiplayer. That is interesting because under normal circumstances, you can't have multiplayer in RPG Maker 1. So this minigame would basically involve you passing your controller between yourself and a friend. We'll go ahead and try it out since it does, in fact, only need the one controller. Therefore, you don't have to worry about playing simultaneously. Cool! Player 1 is Roseanne, player 2, please, is Snowball. Good luck! I wonder if I would have been able to choose who to play as if I chose one player. Alright, player 1, Roseanne, start. Alright, how do? Alright, make sure to take a minute lining up the shot before swinging. Not sure what these switches are going to do for us. Probably get us to the gobbly up there? I would say yes. Don't worry about me, it doesn't hurt too bad. Just do it. Oh, you're Mary. Okay. Here we go, Mary. Have a fun ride! Well, if you say so. So we're basically just going through these levels, trying to reach Mary. Oh, this one's tricky. Okay, I really like this idea. We need to scare the fairy out of there, then get up here before those guys eventually reach me. Or, you know, do that and completely trap me. Bogey. Well, I'm glad that it takes me out of the trap situation. Okay, hurry up and get out of there, fairy. Go further this time. Yeah, you got this. I believe in you. That's great and all, but I still feel bad for hurting you. Not bad enough to actually do it, though. I've got a game to win. Oh boy, uh, okay, let me back, go back down for a moment. So these guys do not walk on the grass, that is important information, it gives me time to think for a moment. One or possibly all of those switches will allow me to reach Mary again. Yeah, I definitely like this idea, this is more like playing an actual level. Very creative. It's like the official World 3. Or rather, the unofficial official World 3. Okay. Y'all can just come along over here. Gotta remember, in RPG Maker 1, characters cannot interact with you by bumping into you. You have to be the one to bump into them. So I can make sure that you guys are all sitting there. And we move on. My abdomen can withstand another hit. You're almost done. Good, because my conscience can't take much more of this. I'm actually a little disappointed. Almost done already? Well, at least there's a second hole. And going this way. And going this way. Okay, just put me in the hole and that'll end this level. Oh, 
All cleared. Yay, yay. Please tell me you are okay. Yep, I'm a-okay. That was fun. All right. Two players. Hmm. All right, little kitty. Take aim before smacking me. Well, as long as we get different dialogue, I might as well do this again. Sure, why not? I already know what I'm doing at the very least. Does hurt a little bit, but it's okay. Please don't mind me. Get you out of there right now. This is going better. No, you must feel bad for having to hurt me, but please don't let that. <laughs> I don't think Snowball feels bad. Try to get most of them over here. That'll do for the moment. Which way you headed? That way? Cool. Now we do the same over here again. Mmm. Not as cooperative. Oh, there we go. I'm starting to believe you're totally okay hurting me, jerk. I was beginning to think Mary was basically just saying the same things, but without commentary from Roseanne. But no. <laughs> Definitely doing things a little differently. Oh, these guys are lined up differently now. Huh, wonder how that happened. Thankfully, we're at the end, so please lightly tap me in the hole. I hate cats. Well, I'm glad I'm not a cat. That was fun. Wait. Oh, there's three holes, that's right. Oh. Yeah, we're actually not going to be finishing this stream that quickly. Stripeback is asking, is that supposed to be LOL or celebratory hands in the air? I'm pretty sure it's celebratory hands in the air. But it looks kind of funny because of the spacing of the text. At least for that particular message box. All right, girly, let's get this started. One good smack and the fun begins. Actually, the fun's just continuing, and I am happy about this. I'm glad that there is more to this game than I thought. Okay, how do you guys work? Do you all chase? No. Zombie chases, birds move randomly. The fact they move randomly is definitely going to add a level of difficulty here. Because you never know when they might suddenly decide to step in your way and you accidentally run into them. You almost had a water hazard. Smack me harder. We'll be a both enjoy it more. This guy, is he enjoying being hurt?
See, just then, had I tried walking up, that guy would have walked in my way. Is this a reference to your attempt at making Donkey Kong an RPG maker? Here. Hit me here, in the jugular. Gives you more control. I won't tell. Not gonna lie, you're starting to freak me out now. Hold still. Okay. Another one of these situations where I need to get the fairy out of the way. Fairy tries to flee away from me. Oh, there is not as much space over here as I was hoping there would be. Oh, oh, this is this is not gonna be easy. Nope. Nope, nope. Not easy at all. Um Okay, all of y'all need to start by coming down here. And I don't know what step two is going to be, but I will probably figure it out, hopefully. I figured it out. Hopefully you get out of there and not trapped by an oncoming zombie. Kind of like that. Okay, you're out. You seem to be out. Everybody just come up a little more. And I am... Free! Oh, thank goodness. So here we are. If you wouldn't mind, please hit me in the jugular again. Shh! Will you please stop it off? I'm trying to focus. You're not helping. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be celebratory hands. Thanks, that was fun. Let's do it again soon. Alright, well, we need to go ahead and get player two through this hole now. Hmm, I wonder how Snowball will react to this character's weirdness, I guess we'll say. Well, we can go ahead and figure that out after this break.